Welcome back to Jody's Kitchen. Today, I'll be making me some crunchy French fried chicken in my kitchen. If you want to learn this recipe, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button for more cooking videos. So guys, let's get right into it. I have all my ingredients here. First, I've got my chicken. It's already washed and clean. I've washed my chicken with vinegar and the natural lemon. I've got my powdered season here. First, we have some paprika powdered seasoning. I've got my traditional ground black pepper. I've got my all-purpose powdered seasoning. I've got my Miss Dash onion and herb. I've got my garlic powder right here. I've got my chicken Miss Dash here. I love me some Miss Dash. And I've got my whole milk. And I love me some eggs. I'm gonna use the egg to make me an egg wash with the milk. So guys, let's get started. In this bowl, I'm gonna combine all my powdered seasoning together to season my chicken. I'm just gonna mix this until everything is combined together. Take a look at my seasoning, guys. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm gonna season up my chicken generously with all my spices. Mm -mm -mm. The smell is everything, guys. And then I'm gonna use the rub in method to rub all the seasoning together, guys, front and back. And then guys, make sure you add some seasoning underneath the skin so that when you bite on that chicken, you taste the juice, the spice, everything guys. Look at my chicken. I'm gonna apply the exact process to all my chicken that I'll be seasoning up. There you have it guys, my chicken is well seasoned and ready to be marinated. So I'm gonna leave this for two hours time. So guys, see you back in two hours time. Over here, I'm gonna add two eggs to make my egg wash for my chicken. Now I'm gonna whisk until the eggs are uniform in color. We don't want streak, we want nice yellow eggs. Take a look at my egg guys, the color is perfect. And I'm just gonna add some all-purpose powdered seasoning to my egg. I just wanna give it a nice flavor. I'm going in with my whole milk. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm just gonna continue the process of whisking everything together. I can't wait to dip my chicken in this bad boy right here. There you have it, guys. So guys, in this bowl, I have me some all-purpose flour, what I'm gonna coat with the chicken. So now I'm going in with some paprika, some black pepper, some all-purpose powdered seasoning. And I'm just going to gently get everything together. Season the flour. My chicken is here ready. I got my seasoned flour here. I've got this tray right here to put the chicken on. And I've got my egg wash right here so we're gonna do this in an anti-clockwise way we're gonna go from chicken to egg wash to flour chicken egg wash flour All right guys let's go and guys you don't have to worry about the chicken losing any flavor 
it is flavorful. I've already seasoned my chicken and it has been marinating for two hours time. My egg wash is well seasoned and also my flour. So guys, let's go. I'm gonna leave this for 25 minutes so that the flavor from my egg wash is soaked in my chicken. So guys, see you back in 25 minutes time. Over here we have my flour and my tray. And I'm gonna slightly add some flour to my tray because we don't want the chicken to get soggy when the juice from the chicken comes out. So this is why I flour my tray. So guys, we are back and here goes my chicken. Look at it guys, the egg is soaked inside of it. Look at that guys. Now I'm gonna coat them in the flour. So I'm just gonna coat it like this. You wanna ensure that you drain the excess liquid from your chicken and add them to your flour mixture. Cover them up real nice so your chicken can be crunchy and nice, guys. Pull the skin down and pull up so whenever the air from the oil goes in the chicken, the skin doesn't get curly. Look at my chicken! And continue the same process for the entire batch of chicken. There you have it guys, now it's time for us to get these bad boy crunchy and nice. Let's go guys! Going in with my vegetable oil. You want to ensure that you add enough oil so that your chicken can be soaked and fried properly. And I'm just checking in to see if my oil is hot and it's hot. So guys, we're gonna start the process of frying my babies. Let's go guys! I'm going to leave them for 10 to 15 minutes so that they can be soaked properly and are golden brown on the outside. You want to ensure that your chicken is fried properly because you don't want to bite in and the chicken is not fried properly. So guys, turn down your stove and let these bad boys become golden brown. I'm going in with my scotch bunny pepper. I just love to add me some scotch bunny pepper when I'm frying fried chicken, guys. That's my way of doing it. So yes, and look at my chicken, guys. All golden brown on the outside and juicy on the inside. So I'm just gonna leave this for another 10 minutes so that my chicken can become golden brown and the other side is soaked properly. Take a look at my chicken. I just can't wait to bite on these bad boy right here guys if you love fried chicken comment below and tell me if you love you some fried chicken with some hot sauce I love me some hot sauce guys hot sauce is life and just take a close look at my babies all getting brown and crispy. look at my chicken And voila, my chicken is all finished. And I'm just placing them on the piece of paper towel so that the excess oil can be drained off. Golden brown on the outside and juicy on the inside. Look at my chicken! Guys, take a close look at my chicken. All crunchy and nice. And I'm just gonna apply the exact same process to these batch of chicken for 10 to 15 minutes. And we are finally finished. I'm gonna put this on a plate and it's time for us to dig in. Look at all my babies right here. Crunchy on the outside, juicy on the inside. I can't wait to bite in. And I'm just adding some hot pepper sauce on my chicken legs. I love me some chicken legs, guys. If you love you some chicken legs, comment below and tell me if you love chicken legs. 
and I'm just gonna give this a bite so you guys could see that my babies came out properly and look at my chicken this tastes so good I wish you guys could taste it so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and please don't forget to tell me what you want to see me cook again in my kitchen so guys from my kitchen to yours enjoy bye guys